Hey guys, today we are in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. And if you know where the sight and sound is, we are 30 minutes away from there. Yeah, we are at the Fox Meadows Creamery. Karen and a bunch of other people commented and said this is one of the places we need to come. And what's funny about it, yesterday we were at another restaurant and the staff there asked us if we'd ever been here. So that must be a good sign and I was just walking around up there. It's already packed, the place isn't even open. So maybe we picked a good place to come for lunch. And they make their own ice cream here. That's what they're known for. They are a working dairy. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Another place with some beautiful farmland. A nice area back here to sit outside. Let's go take a look. Come back here, sit. This is what you're going to see. And have a place for the kids to play over there. Or you can just go up here and sit in the shade. Quite a few tables up here. Take a look at the lunch menu. There are the Stone Ridge Burgers. Got the Creamery Pick Two. Got some soup, sandwich, and wraps. Salad and bowls. Tasteful sides. Seasonal specials. Little boxes menu and drinks. This is the ice cream menu if you guys want to pause it and look at it and here are all the different drinks that they have I have an other room back here to sit in plus outside plenty of spots I have this little market and you can go over there and watch the ice cream being made this is the whole place a good size. Here's how the ice cream comes about. They grow the crops and they harvest them. There you have your cows or the star of the show it says. You got the milking time. Process our milk and then handcrafted ice cream. And they have some questions down there, true or false. During the winter time, is it wise to drink more milk? I'm gonna say true. And it is true. Take some of this ice cream home with you. Let's just take a look. The pints are $5.35. Half gallons are $8.80. Two and a half gallons are $39. I like to do that, but it would never make it back. So they're the ones that are $39. And they sell cheeses in the local area. And you want to take home a shirt? 
There's the shirts, merchandise. And once you order, you just self-serve with the drinks. Look what I see, birch beer. And if you don't like any of that stuff, they have Coke. So we ordered, they put a number on the table and they brought it out to us, but look at this burger. And the hand cut fries, homemade ranch, but look at Bobby's. Bobby, that looks pretty good. What do you got? It does, it's got um, mandarin oranges, some almonds, <laughs> feta cheese, some cranberries, and some raisins in there. And what sandwich did you get? It's a club. It's got the turkey and cheese, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. That's house smoked turkey, it says. And what kind of dressing is that supposed to be? This would be a orange. Orange light. balsamic, I think it said. So taste it, see if you think. It's good, but I don't taste like an a orange flavor that you would think it would. You've never had a salad with mandarin oranges in it, have you? Um, not when we've been out anywhere. I think I've made them before. They have some nice fresh greens in there. That looks fresh. As you can see, everything looks very fresh. I got the orange and the almond at the same time, so I gave it that crunch. I like the dressing, but it's not like that orange flavor that I thought it would have. But it's good. That's, now that, let's take a look at that on the side view. Look at it has a herb mayonnaise on it. Okay. Loaded it up pretty it good. Tastes, I mean, it feels a little bit toasted too. That's sourdough bread. Okay, here we go. Okay. There's that herb. Oh, there's a lot of um, herbs in there. And as you can see, the tomatoes, the lettuce look fresh. The smoked turkey is really good. I like that. And the cheese. It's a nice club sandwich. That's nice that you could combo that up like that, half and half. Yeah. That, look at that. That's still. That's still a lot, and that's a pretty good size salad. So you're happy with it. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm about ready to tear in this burger, but let's just break it down. Nice brioche bun. Just take the tops off. It's a house-made barbecue sauce with some crispy onion rings. Some. Real bacon on there, it's nice. It's Havarti cheese, which is basically a mild Monterey Jack, sometimes it can be sweet. Nice tomato, and some lettuce. And I can't really see the burger, but it's decent size. Let's go underneath. Can you see it underneath there? Yeah, I can see it. Mm -hmm. And it's made, the beef is from a local farm, fresh. That's gonna make a difference. And you got some fries. And hand cut fries with some. It's like sea salt on top of them, and a pickle. And they make that ranch here too, right? They do. And the set on thing, like I said, the barbecue sauce that's on here is yeah. made here. That's gonna be a hard bite to get. Let me see if I can squish <laughs> it down. Squish it down. All right, a lot of good flavors going on. I think this was called the Smokehouse Burger. Got into those onion rings, had the crunch from that. You could taste the barbecue sauce. Now, it didn't look like there was a lot of barbecue sauce there. I probably would have like a little more on there, but I could taste that. You could taste the cheese, the mild Havarti cheese. And the burger, you guys can see, it's pretty well done. Nice, nice uh, crunch to the bacon. It's made everything fresh. I like it. Brioche bun. Let's go one more. <laughs> Second bite, as good as the first one. Definitely fresh. Bun's fresh. Everything about this is, is excellent. Now these look good. I'm gonna try one without the house made first. I love the hand cut fries. Those are done well. I mean, they're not too crispy and they're not too soggy, just perfect. But that sea salt, I like sea salt. You see that on there? Let's try it with the cup of ranch. And that's a lot of ranch. A lot of times they yeah, give you a really is. tiny one, kind of like what your dressing came in. Yes. But that's a big cup of ranch. Nice flavor of ranch, nice and cool. You definitely tell that's homemade. It has that homemade taste. I can't describe it. If you would try that, you would know what I'm talking about. And before I forget, birch beer, guys. Red birch beer. 
Now for any of you guys who never tried Birch beer, try it sometime. When I mean, you come up in this area, you see it. You don't see it in a lot of places. I like it, Bobby. I don't think she really cares for it. I'm not a fan of it, but I don't like you're traditional not a big fan root beer yeah, anyhow. Not a big fan of root beer. Like root beer, give this a whirl. Bobby's like me, she likes good ranch. She's gonna try it and tell me what she thinks. You can definitely tell that's homemade. That's some good ranch. Oh yeah. Did they sell that? I don't know. Did Problem they is if they sold, I don't know how we get it home. I guess mm -hmm. we could put it in a cooler. We're about four hours from home. That's but true. Just like the ice cream. They got that big cooler for our ice cream. We can't take that home, but I'd yeah. sure love to. I'm gonna try Bobby's. Sourdough feels nice. Mm -hmm. That's a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. I can really taste the uh, mayonnaise on there, but the, the herbs mm -hmm. gives that extra flavor. Nice crispy bacon on there. And that sourdough, like I said, that's definitely toasted. Yes. It's fresh. No. Taste the turkey. I mean, that's, that's a fresh sandwich. Which would you flavor. rather have? No, if, I'm, if I was eating lighter, I'd be eat this one. But let's look at our receipt at Fox Meadows. Here's my smokehouse burger. Added on some fries for $2.30 cup of house-made ranch. There's Bobby's salad and sandwich, 11.25. Two fountain drinks. Grand total, 34.14. We came outside to eat the ice cream, but we're gonna have to eat it quick because it's hot. What we get there first, Bobby? That one's uh, black or fine ripened black raspberry. You can really taste the, the black raspberry. A lot of flavor. That's raspberry lemonade. You taste the lemonade in that one. You'd really enjoy this one. It's a nice, like, it's a nice flavor, like a fresh flavor. Try that last and one. I'll let you try those two. Well, I want you to try that one. That's a passion, a Caribbean breeze. It's got like what, mango and passion fruit. It should be really different. You can taste the mango. That one. I'm gonna try this chocolate. Yep. That one's good too. I really don't know which one I would pick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this one. Just because it's refreshing. That's the raspberry lemonade. I'm gonna do the chocolate. chocolate Wilbur first. chocolate. Man, that's creamy. Really chocolatey. Stuff is made. We saw it. It's yeah. all making it, so we know it's fresh. The passion fruit or the Caribbean breeze. That's not bad. I probably wouldn't get that one because I'm not a huge fan of a mango. mango and stuff. But I know Bobby likes mango. No, oh, raspberry lemonade. I got some chocolate in it, so it's gonna be different. Oh, you're gonna mess it up with that mm -hmm. chocolate in there. I definitely like that one. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. That you lemon, really taste you can really the lemon taste in that. there mixed in mm -hmm. with the raspberry and fine ripened raspberry. I thought that one would be your favorite just because you like raspberries and uh, yeah. blackberries. Yeah, no, that's good. Heard this is one of the most popular ones. That's why we tried the uh, fine ripe and raspberry. But they're all good. I'm going with chocolate. You guys probably oh, already know the chocolate. That. But I just look at the beautiful scenery out here. We were inside eating the lunch, and we thought, oh, we got to come outside. This is just so pretty out here. But show them. We, won't, we filmed as soon as we came out. Look how quick it's melting already. Yeah, it is. All right, we're going to get to eating this ice cream. All right, Bobby, I want to test your knowledge. <laughs> Each day a cow drinks as much water as you could put in A, a kitchen sink, B, a bathtub, or C, a swimming pool. What's the answer? Say B, your bathtub. Where you pull it up? You got it right. Wow. They also sell some Van Winkle's homemade fudge. How's that sound? I've never heard of that brand. Yeah, it must be up here. It's good. They have coconut flavor, chocolate, peanut butter, and just a little store with 
pretzels and peanuts and all kind of other things in here. Now we first came in here, it wasn't real crowded. Look at it now, it is packed. Well guys, we just left Fox Meadows Creamery. What did you think about it, Bobby? It's a really nice place. You get your food, get some ice cream, there's a little store there, but there's also a really nice play area out there for the kids to run off some energy. And look at the beautiful cornfield yeah. behind us. I bet this would be a nice corn maze. It would be an October. awesome corn maze. Um, I really enjoyed that salad. Now the sandwich I had was, I really enjoyed it with the smoked uh, turkey. It wasn't a real strong smoke flavor though, no. with the cheese and the bacon and on the sourdough bread, which was toasted. But I would have to pick the salad just because it was so refreshing for the summertime. It had those mandarin oranges in it and the almonds and with the cranberries and the raisins. When you bit into that fresh salad, it just was so flavorful. I mean, it just gave it a lot of like sweetness to it from the cranberries and raisins. So I really enjoyed that with the feta cheese. For me, one word guys fresh yeah it's very fresh everything about my meal was fresh from the local beef to all the fresh condiments that were on the burger the bacon the cheese hand cut fries the homemade ranch dressing the ice cream made right here can't get any fresher than that and i'm gonna go out on the limb and say now we go to pigeon forge there's a lot of good ice cream places in pigeon forge but i think up here in the amish country the ice cream up here is a little better than what's down there. I think so too. I think it's creamier. A lot creamier. And, and stuff. You know, they, they have a lot of good places down there. They always seem to have just a little bit better here. But uh, the staff was really friendly mm -hmm. too. I liked how you went up, you ordered what you wanted, and then they would bring it to the table. And they are busy. Very busy. We got here as soon as they opened, and there was a line before we even got here, wasn't there, John? Yeah. We were here 20 minutes before they opened. There were still people sitting around the place. So this is a uh, very popular place that we recommend coming. Now it's, it's a half an hour, like Bobby said, from the sight and sound from a lot of the Amish, the main Amish area. But I think it's worth your trip. It is worth it. After you eat, you can just sit out here and look at the beautiful farmland. Mm -hmm. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J, J and B, B have, have left, left the, the building. building. A little bonus trivia in the comments section answer this question we're in front of a cornfield there's your hint what movie does this quote come from he who walks behind the rose it's a good halloween movie great movie old school answer it in the comments